President Barack Obama and Ukraine's interim prime minister meet in D.C. and pelt Russia with some strong words, warning Moscow there will be consequences if it doesn't remove its troops from Crimea. Ebru's Kyle Schmoyer is live in the nation's capital with the very latest on today's meeting. Kyle. Well, Logan, you know there have been a many special meetings, many more high profile at the White House, but maybe none more symbolic than today when the Ukraine prime minister sat down with President Obama. President Barack Obama welcomed interim Ukraine Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk to the White House for a meeting Wednesday afternoon. The two men spoke about the ongoing crisis in Ukraine as Russian troops continue to occupy the Crimean Peninsula. If it continues on the path that it is on, then not only us, but the international community, uh, the European Union and others uh, will be forced to apply a cost to uh, Russia's uh, violations of international law and its encroachments on Ukraine. Tensions have been growing in Crimea between Ukraine and Russian forces, especially as Sunday's referendum vote approaches. The prime minister rejects that vote. It's all about the freedom. We fight for our freedom, we fight for our independence, we fight for our sovereignty, and we will never surrender. The prime minister continues to seek a dialogue with his Russian counterparts to help defuse the current crisis. And we urge Russia to stick to its international obligations, to pull back its military into barracks, and to start the dialogue with no guns, with no military, with no tanks, but with the diplomacy and political tools. And today's visit to the White House may help secure Ukraine's international standing. I'm very confident that the international community will stand strongly behind uh, the Ukrainian government uh, in preserving its unity and its territorial integrity. Before leaving the White House, the Prime Minister took a moment to directly address Russian President Putin. Mr. Putin, tear down this wall, the wall of war, intimidation, and military aggression. Let's stop. Let's calm down. Thank you. Words there from the Prime Minister. Let's calm down. He went on after leaving the White House today to meet with the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and also Speaker of the House John Boehner in hopes to build more support for aid going to Ukraine. Logan? They're actually echoing the words of Ronald Reagan, tear down that wall. Let me ask you, Kyle, what is the next step for the ongoing negotiations between the United States and Russia? Well, we learned today uh, that Secretary of State John Kerry will be meeting with his Russian counterpart, the foreign minister from Russia, in London on Friday as this continues. Now, that is seen as some type of breakthrough because the State Department was saying he would not meet again with the foreign minister from Russia unless there was some type of progress. Today on Capitol Hill, Secretary Kerry had this to say about his ongoing message to the Russians. We do not seek a world in which we have to apply additional costs to the choices that have been made thus far. Uh, we don't think anybody is more served, better served, not for the interests of our efforts in Iran, not for the interests of our efforts in Syria, not for the interests of our efforts with nuclear weapons or Afghanistan or many other places by isolating uh, Russia. But we will do what we have to do if Russia cannot find the way to make the right choices here. And Secretary John Kerry went on to say if the right choices are not made, he said, quote, it could get ugly. One other thing, Logan, we learned today, a group of U.S. senators led by Arizona Senator John McCain will be going to Ukraine tomorrow through Sunday to meet with government officials there. We're live tonight in the nation's capital. I'm Kyle Schmoyer, Ebru News. All right, Kyle, thank you so much for that report.